Hey everyone, it's Jen again. I'm just doing part two of my haul video from stuff I picked up over the weekend. Um, last I left off with um, stuff I picked up at one of my local scrapbook stores on Saturday when they were having their garage sale. I forgot to show I did pick this um, little storage burlap box up. This was only a dollar um, at the garage sale. So this is stuff I picked up at Beverly's um, since the closest one is a little over our way which is by the scrapbook store I always try to hit all the different stores when I'm out there just because I'm driving that far um, they had this um, beanie I guess that they used for you know to show as an example for a class this was only a dollar fifty so I picked it up I thought it was cute even though it we're having 80 90 degree weather right now um, I know it's kind of weird to pick up something but it was cute and I didn't want to not get it um, they also had a um, free make and take you can make, and they had it with the Lawn Fawn set. So this is what I made. thought that was super cute. They had tons and tons of stuff on clearance. Um, so I will start off with that. I found the um, My Lucky Charm Lawn Fawn set with the dies. Um, the stamp set was $4.24, and the die was marked down to $6.99. So I thought that was a good deal. I found this um, Anna Partridge, and this one was marked down to $3.99. And then I found this one, which is the um, Gingham Borders, and this was marked down to $8.49. So I was happy with those. I found this Dear Lizzie Honeycomb Balls, and you get four of them. It was marked down to $1.99. I just thought these were cute to maybe make some cards that look like balloons like that. I found this... Um, wow glitter uh, Maggie Holmes set comes with four glitters it was $2.99 I really like that um, light green one the gold the white and the red I got this stamp pendants um, frontage fragments this was marked down to $2.49 and um, I don't think it has the color on it oh tea stained sorry so I got that and then I also picked up some of these other embossing powders. This is the Stampendous um, Detail Black. This was $2.49. And then I got the um, Chunky Black Embossing Enamel. This one was $2.99. I got the um, Aqua Tinsel by Stampendous Embossing Powder for $2.50. And then I got this one that is the Vintage Olive, also $2.50. And then I found this um, Hero Arts Shadow Inks Lime Green Midtone. This was marked down to $3.50. And then I had used my coupons um, and finally picked up the Lawn Fawn Party Animal set. I've been wanting this since it came out. So I'm happy that I got, you know, found it and was able to use coupons on it. So I got the dies with it. And then they had a whole bunch of paper on clearance, and these were all 10 cents a sheet. So I picked up um, some, you know, duplicates just because I like the front and the back. Um, you know, they had Bow Bunny, um, Graphic 45, Crate Paper. So I just picked up a whole bunch of different selections. Um, you know, kind of see what I got, but it's just, you know... I thought for 10 cents I couldn't pass it up and probably if um, you know, I go back I might get more. So that's everything I picked up at Beverly's on Saturday. And then um, I had went by TJ Maxx and Joann's while I was out there. So at TJ Maxx I found these American Crafts Elements Halloween Brads. These were $1.29 so I got two packages of those. And then I found this crate paper after dark. It comes with 425 sequins. This was also $1.29. Comes with the orange, some black bats, and then gold stars. So I got two packages of that. I found this after dark by crate paper um, ephemera pack. This was also $2.99. And that's what it comes with. I found this pebbles enamel dots. And this was only $1.99. So I like that found this Pebbles Puffy Stickers and doesn't have a name. It was $1.49 and I just thought it was 
cute for like Thanksgiving. And I did pick up um, a Mombi Halloween paper pad that's 12 by 12 but I decided that I'm going to return it. There's like a lot of sheets I like but then there's a lot that I don't like or not in use and I just feel it's not worth it for me to keep it since I do have tons of Halloween paper pads. So I'm going to return that and I did pick up the paper pad, um, the 6x6 for this After Dark collection. But after looking at it, um, I also decided I'm going to return that just because it's really not vivid colors. It's very dull and, you know, there's only a really a few sheets that I really love. But the rest are kind of like, oh, you know, I don't know if I would use them. So I figured I might as well return it um, and not, you know, get something that I am going to use. So at Joann's. Um, they had 50% off coupons over the weekend. So I picked up some more of these um, Viva De uh, I think they're Viva Decor um, paints. So I think I almost have all the colors that I've seen at Joann's in these um, Inca Gold um, things. This I picked up is gold. And this one is called um, lava rot but it's like a red color and then I picked up these little precious metal um, this one is ice blue I just thought it would be really pretty and then this one is rose so I used my 50% off coupons on those and then I saw this little swatch thing of material and I used my 50% off coupon on this so it came to $5 I just thought these were super cute I love the little owls um, there's like little fish, little panda bears, or that's cats, sorry, and that's panda bears. And then this one is like little geishas. And, um, I just love it. I've, you know, been wanting to do like a, some kind of quilt thing to represent, you know, things I like or me kind of thing. And I like cats. I like, um, you know, Asian themed things since my grandmother, um, is Japanese and everything so those kind of things remind me of her and then I also while I was there I picked up a whole bunch of Halloween material I figured I might make a Halloween quilt I've never made a quilt before so if anyone has any suggestions or um, tips and stuff I would really appreciate it but um, they had all the material for 40% off so I got a quarter of a yard of each of the different ones so they were like a dollar dollar ten or 20 you know they're the most expensive one I think was um, the cat one I got which has glitter on it this one and I got I think a half a yard of this just because I figured I can use it on some other projects but I really love the you know colors in these and all the images and everything and just hopefully you know I have the time that I can sit down and you know learn kind of how to start making a quilt. I know I talked to the lady at Joann's and she said just start cutting, you know, squares and laying them out and then that will kind of help you to figure out where to go from there. So that was everything um, that I did not show in my last haul video um, that I picked up over the weekend. I hope everyone's having a great day and please leave any comments or questions down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.